Now, shifting focus, the nation has a new chief of defense staff. Now, Lieutenant General Anil Chauhan has helmed an illustrious career spanning over 40 years. He has held several key posts and has extensive experience in counterinsurgency operations in Jammu and Kashmir as well as Northeast. Now, Lieutenant General Chauhan was commissioned into the 11 Gorkha Rifles in 1981. In the rank of Major General, he commanded an infantry division in the critical Baramula sector. Later, as Lieutenant General, he commanded a corps in the Northeast and subsequently went on to went on to become General Officer Commanding-in-Chief of the Eastern Command, a post he held until his retirement from service in May 2021. Now I am joined by Major General General Lalotra, another veteran of the 11 Gorkha Rifles who knows General Chauhan very well. Thank you for joining us on the broadcast, General Lalotra. Now, uh, Major General Lalotra, it's, uh, you have two Chief of Defence Staffs from the 11 Gorkha Rifles, the late General Bipin Rawat and now Lieutenant General Chauhan. What does this mean for your regiment? I thank you for calling me on this historic moment. Uh, well, uh, I will, I'll begin by saying that the celebrations are not only in the regiment, but they are across states and countries. Uh, you know, uh, General Chauhan belongs to the 11 Gurkha Rifles. It's the youngest Gurkha regiment raised post-independence in 1948. From all those who decided that they'll serve India, and not go to the British Army. So all of them were gathered in 1948, and thus was born the Eleven Gurkha Rifles. So we are a regiment which doesn't carry legacy, and we are a regiment which started in independent India. The only other regiment to be raised after us is the Naga Regiment. Uh, we, are, we, we are a proud lot of people, and when I say that, I respect all the other regiments, but in this short span since independence in 75 years, there isn't a mountain that we haven't climbed. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a feather in the cap. Uh, there'll be uh, celebrations taking place in Nepal, uh, in Sikkim, in Darjeeling, in Dehradun, in Assam, uh, in <laughs> Himachal Pradesh, uh, and all over the country. But these are the places from where we recruit our people, and in the Gurkha Brigade, as also in the army, because uh, Jal Chauhan has uh, commands deep respect in the Indian Army. So it means a lot to us. Uh, our regiment is a very young regiment. It has six infantry battalions. It has got a territorial army battalion and it's got a scout battalion. These, this, such a small regiment has done wonders. You know, we produced two Olympians, a Winter Olympian and we have Jitu Rai who won the medal at Olympics. We've climbed all mountains. And here it is that we give two successive chief of the army staff. When I speak, I speak with great pride. And we have some of the oldest generals who founded the regiment, uh, like John Rajendranath and John Sushil Kumar. They're 96, 97 years old. I just hope that they're listening to what I'm saying. You know, they laid such a grounding for these young officers that here we produce two CDSs. So it means a lot to the regiment and we are celebrating. Now, General Lalotra, you know Lieutenant General Chauhan very well. What does he bring to the office that oversees the three services for a coordinated military approach? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, I, I was expecting something like that. Uh, you see, General Chauhan's uh, career has to be studied to understand that what did he bring to the table and how would be a good, good bridge to carry out what we are talking about the integration, the theatrization. Uh, General Chauhan has served on both the fronts. He's commanded a brigade in Kupwara, he's commanded a division in Baramulla, he's been chief of staff in Srinagar. Thereafter, he's gone and commanded a corps in the east. Now, all these are not secret, but they're all in public domain. He's commanded an army there in the east. That is, he was responsible both for the Indo-Myanmar and what I, I would call as the Indo-Tibet border in the east also. Uh, he, then he came down to the military operations directorate and where actually you get to interact with the ministry and the other two services. So General uh, Chauhan brings in a lot of experience. He's also been in the adjutant general's branch which deals with manpower planning, which deals with other things. And just uh, on the sidelines, he was also responsible for the initial planning of the National War Memorial. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Mm-hmm. Now, for the last year and a half, he's actually been working as the uh, what should I say, the military advisor in the NSA. So, what a right pick! Uh, there's going to be continuity and change is inevitable, and he's going to drive that. Right. Uh, General Lalotra, Major General uh, General Chauhan, now enters a crucial time, both an era of Atmanirbharta in the defense sector and two front engagements, one at the LOC as well as the LAC. Is his style of leadership the need of the hour? I wish the best in generals comes out when there are challenges. If there are no challenges, then I, I, I'm sorry, you know, the best in generals doesn't come out. General Chauhan is a solid soldier, he's a solid general, and he's empathetic. He has vast experience. Uh, as I mentioned, the initial grooming makes a lot of difference about how you look at things. You know, when our regiment was raised, I remember our my predecessor, not predecessors, but the generals whom I served with, they all ate from an enamel plates. They sat on wooden boxes. We didn't have all that fine silver and we didn't have all the, you know, uh, the legacy. What, the British had taken everything away and ours was a new regiment. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we, so the regiment is known to improvise and we grew up in that sort of environment. General Chauhan has also had his grooming in a regiment which believes that, look, you've got to be self-sufficient, you've got to do things on your own and you don't have to look over the shoulder for some uh, help from somewhere else. Uh, he, he, he's a great supporter. Uh, I think as a regiment, we all believe this, but uh, uh, I know John Chauhan quite well and I think he will give the right impetus to Atam Nirbharta and he's also giving, he carry the team along, the two other services to ensure that we fight a cohesive battle when the time comes. Right. Major General Lothra, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast and decoding the impact Lieutenant General Chauhan will have on his new role as Chief of Defence Staff. So we're going to take a